Hi, so today uh, we're going to discuss what Jesus means when he says we need to um, deny ourselves, pick up our cross and follow him. So first of all, I want to read from Matthew 16. It's from verse 21 onwards. I think it's up to, let's have a look, up to 25, up, up to verse 25. From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, chief priests and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord, he said, this shall never happen to you. Jesus turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the things of God, but the things of men. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself, pick up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me will find it. So Peter was only trying to protect Jesus. He didn't want Jesus to have to go to the cross and suffer that terrible death. But Jesus had made it clear earlier in that passage that he had to go to the cross and he had to suffer that terrible death so that's why he rebuked Peter because even though Peter was trying to do a good thing for Jesus I guess trying to protect him and save him what he was suggesting was against God's will and Jesus had made that clear earlier what God's will for him was so uh, Jesus said to him he said to Peter you do not have in mind the things of God but the things of men it was a human emotion that Peter felt. He didn't want Jesus to go through that. But basically Jesus was saying that we can't go on our emotions. We can't act out of our feelings. We, can, we should only go on the will of God. We should only be acting upon the will of God. And we'll know what that is because we know our Bibles. I think it's like it's a really hard thing to grasp that Jesus doesn't see things the way we do because it's our human nature to think that we see things correctly and we don't without the bible without the holy spirit to teach us we're not we will not see things as jesus as god sees them so you know we'll always try and avoid pain and suffering won't we we'll always avoid it in ourselves and we'll try and help other people avoid it but jesus is saying here that sometimes we can't avoid it sometimes we have to go through something really difficult we have to pick up our cross and follow him. If we are truly his followers, if we are true believers, we will know that instinctively. We will feel that. We will know that the Christian walk is a sacrifice. We need to pick up our cross, lay down our rights and follow Jesus. So it's not easy believism. I know that probably a decent proportion of the church, 20th, 21st century church, um, basically says, it, it's reasonably easy you know it's all about grace we can it doesn't really matter that much how we live we're all going to fall into sin you know the grace has covered us and we're going to get to heaven and that doesn't say it doesn't say that in the bible it's quite clear that we need to be in obeying jesus to our best of our abilities and repenting on a regular basis and searching our hearts and, and walking as closely to him as we can with what we know you know we are responsible for our behavior so Galatians 5.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. So basically, that's what happens to the self when you're a true believer. You crucify yourself as Christ was crucified. We're his followers and we need to crucify ourselves, which is our flesh. We need to crucify that and put it to death. So 1 Peter 1.14 says, as obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. Set your mind on the things above. That's Colossians 3, 2. So we need to be thinking of the things above, i.e. the things of God. And also probably thinking like, you know, how is this going to affect us in the next life? We need to think because that's eternity. It's just a small amount of time that we're here. And we have to give up things and deny things. Deny ourselves things that we want and need or feel that we want and need. But it's just a short time. You know, the benefits are eternal. So it, it's worth it. So how do we recognise flesh desires in ourselves? Well, we'll need to know the Bible because there's no other. We're not going to know for sure uh, if we are going down the wrong path. If we, if we don't know exactly what the word of God says, if we need the word of God to guide us. I know for a fact that in my life, I would not be living my life the way I am as a Christian if I didn't know my Bible well, if I didn't study it, if I didn't soak myself in it if i didn't see it as the foundation of my faith there's no way 
I would be where I am today without that. You know, if we look at what Jesus said before he went to the cross, so the night before, he was crying in the garden, wasn't he? He, he didn't want to go to the cross. Um, but in the end, he said, um, not my will, but your will be done. So basically, he could have chosen not to go to the cross. He could have he could have said he's not going. He knew what he'd got to face. And I think it's similar for us as well. We can pick up our cross, but we can choose not to. If we choose not to, it'll probably finish up with us losing our faith, I think, because we all have to pick up our crosses as a Christian because we all have a battle with our flesh. So there will be times where we're going to have to deny our flesh and deny ourselves things that we want if they're not in line uh, with God's revealed will to us. It's part of the Christian life. So cross bearing can take many forms. Sometimes we have to carry our cross for years or decades in certain situations. Other times it can be just small things like, you know, we don't want to go and visit someone or we don't want to make a phone call or we don't want to give our money to um, a certain organisation or, you know, we don't want to meet with other Christians. We don't want to pray. There, there are things, you know, that we don't want to do that we have to do, which in some ways could be considered cross bearing because we know we need to do these things if we're a Christian because being a Christian is about serving not just God, but, ser you know, serving others because we serve God. So I just want to summarise with listing the three different areas that I believe we need to pick up our cross in. So, yeah, the first area I would say is self-denial. So we are called to live in obedience to Christ. So there are going to be things that arise that we want to do or choices that we want to make that are against God's revealed will. We're going to have to pick up our cross and live with the consequences of that and not make that choice because we're believers and we want to be obedient to God's revealed will. So this is good for us and healthy because it helps us make God learn to make godly choices and to deny ourselves the freedom to make choices that go against what God reveals for us. It's good for our soul. It's good for us to die in those areas, our flesh to die in those areas. It, it makes it sanctifies us and makes us more holy and it makes us more in tune with God because the more we kill our flesh, the more we're going to be able to know God's will for our lives. Another area we have to pick up our cross is in the area of unanswered prayer. So sometimes we have to wait a long time for God to answer a prayer that we're seeking him for an answer for. And it might take um, months or years or even decades to get the answer. And in that time, it's definitely a cross that we have to bear because we're not getting the answer that we feel that, that we need. So another area which I think is becoming more prevalent these days is in the area of persecution. So when we suffer for doing God's will, when we suffer for acting and behaving like a Christian, when we suffer for having godly opinions based on what the Bible says, we can find ourselves mistreated, ignored, rejected, cut off by family, slandered behind our back or even to our face. This is another area where we're going to have to pick up our cross and follow Jesus. So this kind of persecution is normal, it's to be expected. Actually, it's a sign that we are true believers if we're being persecuted in this way. Um, so the third area that we have to deny ourselves is we need to put others first, which ourself, our flesh does not like that. We want to put ourselves first. It's tough to put others first. But the Bible says um, that we need to consider others, others' needs before our own. Uh, Philippians 2, 3 says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, not look into your own interests, but to the interests of others. So while I was praying about this video and what to put in it, I just had this image of Jesus walking to the cross and carrying his cross and then he died and then it was over, wasn't it? And then he was resurrected. I think it's the same for us. Like we will carry crosses, different crosses for different reasons in our lives um, as we deny our flesh. We will have to pick up our cross. But sometimes these crosses don't last forever. Um, they'll last for a season, maybe weeks or months or years. But they don't last forever and when we're eventually relieved of the cross because circumstances change or god brings it just brings it to an end um for whatever reason we don't need to carry it in that area anymore once we are once it comes to an end we have a sense of um resurrection in that area of our life just like jesus was resurrected so we feel a new sense of freedom a new sense of joy and we have the victory we, we will feel that victory in that area where we've been carrying our cross because what we've actually done is we've learned to overcome our flesh in that area i mean yeah there'll probably be other areas where we're going to have to pick up crosses but for each particular cross when the season comes to an end and we're not carrying it anymore we will feel joy we will feel a sense of victory in that area 
um, because we will have learned to conquer our flesh in that area and conquer our ungodly desires or whatever the reason we were carrying the cross god will use that to sanctify us and make us holy and do good because he always turns everything as long as we submit to his authority and commit to him he will turn even the worst thing that can happen to us he will turn it into something good if we allow him and we have the patience and the perseverance to stick with him no matter how hard things get when we have to carry our cross so i know that it can feel like when you're carrying a cross and it's a very heavy one and it's been going on for a long time if you're in that position i know how hard that is and how it can feel so dark and like it's never going to end but it does end it will come to an end hopefully in this life but if not definitely in the next and there will be a reward in heaven for our cross carrying because jesus says we will be rewarded for our obedience so god never will never ask us to do something that isn't ultimately for our own good no matter how hard it is so uh, i want to finish there thanks for watching